735 now. We welcome Coach Mark in. Good Go- morning, sir. Good morning, guys. I caught him just as he was about to have a sip of his coffee. I thought he was going to throw it down the front of his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's all we need. So, Mark, big uh, two games at home. A couple of teams we don't get to see very often. Yeah. The yeah. French River Rapids and the Sioux Eagles. And the Sioux Eagles, exactly. So, um, yo. French River seems to be uh, coming on a little bit. A good coaching staff down there. It's a ver- very young team, so I suppose as the game slows down for them, they get a little more accustomed to the speed of it. Yeah, exactly. Off. And they, uh, they played, like you just said, they've played a couple of big games lately versus mm-hmm. big teams, so you can't take them lightly. That's right. Y- you know, you can't look at the next game ahead of you or the next weekend, so. We'll take it period by period. And gotta, Sioux Eagles are coming on too, Mark, I noticed. Yeah, like I think they won 9-5 last night as well. So they're coming on. They've been coming on. Uh, that was my prediction since okay. since the start of the year that uh, as the year progressed, those guys would, would really get better. Mm-hmm. They would really uh, they, they would find more talent, more skill, Yeah, and, and that's what they've done. Got to so. ask you one question about French River. You guys have played in Noelville. Yes. What's it like playing on that rink with the uh, with the curling stuff on the ice? Oh yeah, that's that play, right? Okay. It's uh, well, it, it, little, it gives you it? more markers to use as players <laughs> to, uh, to know where you are. It's the old ringette rules, right, Mark? You only go this far. You don't have to cross this <laughs> line. <laughs> Hey, was there any point? Dur- was there at any point during the game did you feel the urge to hurry, hard, hurry, hurry? <laughs> yeah, you showed me a picture of that for you. That's bizarre. Yeah, that that just it it looked funny to me the first time I saw it, and I thought you know that might throw some guys off. They may be sc- thrown off this weekend with no lines on the ice, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know where to stand. Okay, let's give our congratulations to uh, Tyler Mazzucato. Yeah, that's right. Um, big news. Big news this, uh, this month. I believe he was the. Gold tenor of the month, yeah, absolutely. For Gong Show, yeah. So yeah, I, I thought he earned it. Played terrific all uh, all throughout of uh, November, mm-hmm. and uh, he's getting rewarded with the uh, kind of thrown in there, having to play all the time. Mark, first time in the, with the Gold Miners, and he's he's rose to the occasion, right? Oh, big, yeah. He uh, he made some big time saves, uh, even in uh, Espanola, the Friday night, yeah. the three nothing game. Made some big time saves there. Made some big time saves. Recently in Cochrane, for example, mm-hmm. uh, versus Timmins. Hey, before we go any further, how about this race I game, 8-7? What kind of game was that going on there? You must have been losing it out there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of those. 8-7. <laughs> Can you imagine him on the bench when it's 8-7? I just, I, I don't know if we ever got scored eight goals against <laughs> in, in three-plus years. I don't know. And it's, it's just one of those where it's seen that we made a mistake and it was going in. Yeah. Wow. And uh, did they have a bar in that rink you could go hide in for a while? Uh, or what? Eight God. seven. You know you're eight seven very often. No, you don't. Nineteen eighty six. You did, but not today. You don't. It's like rec league game eight seven. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and and, uh, and right from the get go, you could tell it was gonna be a wide open game. Mm-hmm. It's just one of those funny games. And right? even at three nothing, I knew, and I like <laughs> Jed can attest to what I said. Jed, we're not playing great right now. But this could be a long game. We might and, be. and we're up three nothing. And. Well, <laughs> That is wild. You could see it coming. Eight yeah. seven is wild. Yeah, and that that one line. Yeah, had they 20, had how many? Twenty one points. Wow. Yeah. They, that one line had forty one points in three games. Yeah. That's wow. why they were named the the entire line was named the three yeah. stars of the week. I'd never seen that before in my life in any level of hockey. One line, the three stars of the week. Wow. So, Mark, you only got a handful of games here before the uh, Christmas break. Yeah. It's you, wanna... you know what? We're at the halfway point already. Yeah, we, we have twenty six right. games played. Yeah. yeah. So I guess you want to have a good push here before you. Uh... Yeah, you want to you, you want to go into the Christmas break, uh, which for us will be a long one. You, you want to go into it with, you know, with a solid record uh, down the stretch, like you said. Mm-hmm. Our, our guys are will have an extended break compared to most teams in the, in the league. So um, it's way more enjoyable when when you have yeah. a, a few more wins and losses, mm-hmm. you know, in, in the last seven or eight game stretch. So what's going on with the uh, World Junior A Challenge now? This is coming up. The uh, the, the, the training also, training yeah. camp yeah. is coming up. Uh, when, when do you guys head out? I'll be leaving on Saturday. Okay. Uh, Jamie Lowe's on, and the rest of the guys, uh, the three other players from the league, will be leaving on Sunday, I believe. So uh, they're, they're, they will be missing a couple of games, mm-hmm. possibly, depending if they, uh, if they get selected or not. Where is the camp? <clears throat> it's in the Toronto area, okay. and the tournament itself is in the Coburg Whitby areas too. Yeah. So. Um, how long is training camp? 
it'll be approximately five days or so. Oh, really? Um, okay. Because I think we're starting a week from from Sunday. I, I believe our first game. Oh, okay. okay. A week from Sunday. Yeah. So, so everything goes by very quickly. It, it, it'll be. Uh, I, I think in, a, in about five days or six days after it starts, we play Rush. I mean, uh, Team USA. Okay. For an exhibition game, and mm -hmm. right after we get into the tournament. So. Wow. Mm, that'll be fun. Okay, and then you had a couple brothers this week. Yes. <laughs> yep. And the Hester brothers. Yeah, we ended up acquiring two uh, two brothers from Pelham, which is in the uh, Junior B Loop mm -hmm. in Southern Ontario. I know. Uh, I saw one play when I was in Rouen. Uh, we went to see some AAA games in okay. that area, oh, okay. and, and, and Alexander, who is the, the 95 born, yeah. he, he was playing back then. So I remember seeing him. And the AAA in uh, Quebec—that's very high that's level. Right? Yes, they're yeah. only they're only 14 yeah. teams in the entire province, mm -hmm. and uh, so so the caliber is of high quality. Mm -hmm. And he was one of their better players. Okay. So, and if you look at his past stats in other places, I mean, he's he's tore it up offensively okay. uh, in a couple of these places and his brother uh, from what we're told from from what the scouting is he's a very good two-way player very gritty all right and you know he's a 97 born so it's always good to have some younger kids too in the so lineup when might we see them in the lineup probably next week oh. okay so they haven't arrived in town no yet. they haven't arrived in town yet they they, they got to settle a couple of things then then get get, the, uh, get over here so all right Couple of uh, couple of promotions <coughs> this weekend. Right. Tomorrow night will be Giant Tiger Teddy Bear Toss Night. As you know, when the miners score their first goal of the night, that's always a big one. We let the teddy bears fly. Right. So get a grab a teddy bear, bring it with you, buy a, bring a new bear, or you can get one at the game. Giant Tiger donated a couple of hundred to yeah. us, which we'll be handing Terrific. out to fans uh, on Friday night. Then Saturday, Neo Fax Toy Drive Night. We ask fans to bring a new unwrapped toy for a child which will be distributed through the Neofax Christmas Angel Program. And profiles for the Christmas Angel Program will be available for pickup at the game as well. Neofax will be set up in the lobby Saturday evening. Two good causes. Play. Yes, mm -hmm. indeed. Yes, indeed. So, um, And also the uh, Dudley Hewitt Cup tickets are on sale yep. now uh, uh, during the games, too. Yep, they'll be available uh, tomorrow and Saturday, plus a week from uh, a week from Saturday as well. Good the Christmas gifts. Yes, yeah, stocking stuffers for sure. There you go. For sure. Okay, Mark. Well, good luck this weekend. One more question. Oh. Oh. What's that now? You don't have to say oh. We oh, usually oh, bad oh. when you say one more question. No, I'm not going to okay. come out of left field or anything. It's, it's, it's something you and I were talking about 10 minutes ago. Go ahead. Wondering about the state of the goaltending and uh, how's Mr. Corshane uh, yeah, uh, recovering Victor, from his injury? Yeah, Victor seems to be... Uh, Victor seems to be um, A-OK. -okay. okay. And... Uh, you know, we'll see what we do with the goaltending here this weekend. All right. Well, he may be back then? Oh, or? yes, yes. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. All right, then. Good stuff. See, it wasn't that hard a question. <laughs> okay, Mark, well, don't get hit by a bear uh, tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> see, now, nobody, nobody's ever thought, now you just planted the seed. There's 50 bears going to rain down yeah, behind yeah. the goal. Ethan will have one. He, oh. Ethan plans on throwing out there. <laughs> Teddy Bear Toss Night, always a whole lot of fun. And thanks to Brett Seaton and the gang at uh, Giant Tiger as well for yes, helping us. Yes, definitely. Uh, Brent and the boys always come through for us at Giant Tiger. Thanks, Mark. Okay, guys. Four-point weekend coming up. I can feel it. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll uh, talk to you next week. Thanks, guys. Uh, Head oh, coach. no. I was going to say, probably next year. Next, next, <laughs> next year. Next what? year? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, next When he leaves town, he don't come back for a while. Well, Merry Christmas to you. Then. Merry Christmas yeah. to you guys, too. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you, and uh, maybe we'll roast Jetty for next week. Yeah, there you go. Jed used Paul. to do the 87s update. He's yeah. all over it. Oh, yeah. Jed knows his way around the radio station. That's good. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> Have a great okay, one. Yeah, enjoy your time at the World Junior A Challenge as well. Seven